All right, all right. What's up, people, man? I want to talk about this tragedy, man, with people destroying their goddamn lives, fake-ass friends, and people making friends with the wrong fucking people, man. And this young girl you see missing here, Morena Rogers, losing her life to a piece of shit-ass bitch she thought was her friend and an idiotic motherfucker out of the G League. Uh, this Chance Kamuch, however you say his stupid-ass name, will fuck his life over. Uh, and his 19-year-old girlfriend, this idiotic, just out of high school ass bitch, will go about doing this demonic shit that they do. Let me play these news clippings of the story, man. Peep this shit out. A woman is missing, and now her friend is in jail. We've been speaking with family members and friends all day as there is an effort to find her. Here's what we've learned. <laughs> This is Morena Rogers, a 23-year-old visiting Las Vegas with friends from the Seattle area. In the early morning hours of December 6th, loved ones say she vanished. Now 19-year-old Sakari Harnden is in the downtown Las Vegas jail with a half-million-dollar bond facing a kidnapping charge. Las Vegas Justice Court records note prosecutors provided clear and convincing evidence. Harnden needs monetary bail to make sure she returns to court and to ensure the community's safety. Also noted, prosecutors should notify the court immediately if Rogers is located alive. Harnden is believed to be the last person seen with Rogers. The 8 News Now investigators obtained this criminal complaint, which states on December 6th, Harnden held or detained Rogers against her will for the purpose of killing her or inflicting substantial bodily harm. Friends say they believe Rogers had gotten into a car with Harnden the night of her disappearance. So far, no confirmation from police. Harnden also faces a theft charge after police say she stole a Rolex. Rogers' family and friends are trying to get the word out about her disappearance on social media. They say she had a good job as a medical assistant, would never leave her family back home in Washington, or abandon her dogs, which she brought with her to Las Vegas. They believe the circumstances of her disappearance are no doubt suspicious. Harnden declined the 8 News Now investigators' request for an interview. Records show she has a public defender and is scheduled to appear back in court on December 19th for the theft charge, the 28th for the kidnapping charge. Tonight, disturbing new details in the disappearance of a 23-year-old woman who went missing in Las Vegas on December 7th. Our Isabella Martin is live at Metro right now with new details on what police say happened to her. Isabella. Good evening, Paulina. Now almost two weeks since Marina Rogers first went missing, Metro has provided an update saying they found her body and they believe to know who's responsible in her death. Metro detectives say Rogers was visiting Las Vegas from Washington. She was out with friends on December 5th when police say she was set to meet up with 19-year-old Sakari Harnden and her boyfriend, 27-year-old Chance Comanche. That was the last time she was seen. More than a week later, both Harnden and Comanche have been arrested, linked to Roger's kidnapping and disappearance. Police say their investigation led them to a desert area in Henderson, where the coroner confirms they found Roger's remains. Harnden was arrested here in Vegas and Comanche is under arrest in California, where he plays basketball for the G League team, the Stockton Kings. We requested a statement from the team who said, quote, the Stockton Kings have released Chance Comanche. We have no further comment on this matter. Metro says Comanche is awaiting extradition to Nevada. Both he and Harnden will face amended charges of open murder. At Metro, I'm Isabella Martin. Back to you in the studio, Paulina. Tonight out of Nevada involving a former NBA G League player, their NBA minor league, 27-year-old Chance Comanche from L.A. and his girlfriend, Sakari Harden, are arrested, are under arrest for the alleged murder of a woman. Police say uh, Morena Rogers was reported missing December 7th. She met up with both of these people, both suspects, a few days before and has not been seen since. Comanche and Harnden were later arrested on suspicion of foul play and their role in Rogers' disappearance. Police then later discovered the human remains of a victim in a desert near Henderson outside Las Vegas. The two now being charged with kidnapping and murder. Comanche was released by the Stockton Kings after this incident. All right, so there you hear it, man. Such a tragic fucking story, man. And it, and it, just to see the two individuals throw away their fucking lives over what? What was this girl killed for? 
And then to just dump her body off like it wasn't shit. And there's so much of that shit. And there's probably other bodies out here in this desert right now from motherfuckers that know them. And the majority of motherfucking deaths out that be occurring in this country come from people that know each other. Trust me on that. Some of the people people deem as friends or acquaintances are some of the foulest motherfuckers you would ever encounter in your fucking life. Especially the ones with habits, whether they drunks, drug addicts, uh, 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 money addicted motherfuckers. Any type of addiction, you got to watch who you keep within your circle. And like my big bro always say, chosen fucking few. And that's the way you got to live. Chosen fucking few. Keep motherfuckers away from you. Some people caught up in the popularity contest, want to be so social with people. You see stupid ass parents that always doing shit, trying to teach their kids about making friends and always being social. No, you need to be a a, a great judge of characters within the people you deem as friends. So, so many people are so behaviorally flawed, man. But this is sad for the parents to lose their child. This girl had a great career in the medical field, great start to her career, and it, come, it blows up in smoke. And you see she comes from a great family because they were right on top of it of being worried for their child. And immediately from being in another state to really push the Las Vegas police to really look into this case, and then they find this girl remains in the desert. So fucking sad and tragic. And then these two stupid motherfuckers with suspects will ruin their lives over fucking what? What was the purpose of killing this girl? It ain't one. So just lock these motherfuckers up. I believe in the prison system for a lot of motherfuckers. Lock them the fuck up. If you got to put them in a death penalty uh, 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 type shit, kill the motherfuckers. Simple as that. You got to clean the motherfucking filth up out of society globally. But that's all I got, people. Peace.